Welcome back to another Dying Light 2 on this is Cambo Commando. Well, before we start, we gotta drink our tea, boys. Very nice. Alright, well, where are we at in this game? We just gave to, um, what's that guy? Got his name. Ator, I think that's his name. And, um, now we gotta talk to Hakan. Something happened to him? Maybe. I don't know. But before we do that, let's just check out our inventory, guys. Like, let's just see what is new, what's going on. So let's check out our hats. So these are some of the hats that, um, I have to wear. I can wear. Oh, you know what? The one that we have right now is good. What about this? Corporate glove or the pilgrim's glove? Actually, this one's way better. Why didn't I wear that one? All right, next, how's our shirt? We got the nurse or the nurse shirt. Rare and unique, which one's better? Survivor range. You know what, this one's probably better. All right, what about pants? The medic one? Or this one? Yeah, this one's probably the shoes. We only got that. All right, what else can we do here? Um, crafting, we don't need that. Skills. What is this? Oh, we don't have points yet. All right. Let's go and meet up with Hakan. See what he needs from us. Now these are the boys. Oh. Right. I wish I can run in this building. At least tell me you've been to the doctor. I'm not going to be groped by some strange guy. Thorn was right about you. What? As tense as a snack stick. Did he say snack stick? He said something else. The meaning's this. He's me, basically, because I don't like going to the doctors. I just don't like to be groped by a strange guy. All right. Let's go talk to him. Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. Not doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? <laughs> Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? Why and Headstrong. That? She's... you'll see. Headstrong, uh... Oh, okay. Alright, alright. You know what though, guys? Before we question Sophie about Lucas, I want to do, I want to do like a side quest. We haven't done that in a while. I want to do cheers. We were supposed to uh, check up on uh, Marco with the water supply thing. So let's do that one. There we go. And you know, kind of like investigate the city a little bit. How do I get up the hell PK out of here? PK rules must be enforced. Otherwise, civilization will go to shit again. Yeah, right here. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh! Ow. Okay. Where are we supposed to go? Over there. Let's go up here. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. All right, see if we can explore the little city because we've been rushing around town and uh, you know, not collect any uh, any items. Let's go up here. Is he a bad guy? Let's see if I can. 
as fast as I can. Take down. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Ah. Dude, my my fighting skills are not that good anymore. Oh, you know what? Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Let's let's think about it. Uh, let's think about this conversation. Ah! He just threw a knife at me. Okay, he's dead. You're next. Whoa. There we go. Alright, they're all dead. That was a close one, my god. Alright, let's search. I didn't think I was gonna survive that one, boys. But uh, we did it. Alright, I need to freaking heal up. Let's do that. All right, I can't heal, so let's let's just continue on our journey. How about that? Okay, let's see where else. Ooh, in here, huh? All right, let's see. All right, I think that's everything. Anything in here? Nope, nope. Let's go. Next. Oh, you want some of this? Come on. Man, get the hell out of my roof. Got nothing. We're collecting some good items here, boys. All right, anything? Ooh! Oh. Mate, mate! You're next, buddy. You're next. Oh, no, 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 no. Let's see what's down here. There's too many of them over there. Have no, no. mercy. Please, release me. You know what? No, no. I heard someone needs help. I guess. Who are you? Okay. Let's go in here. Let's get rid of him. Jeez, that cut out. Oh, what's that? What's this? 
You know more people kill themselves than are killed by virals these days. Guess they need some kind of purpose. What's going on here? Hello, I'm Henkel. This student here was curious about my lesson today. About when the guns were confiscated in Villador. And what happened afterwards. He wants to light a candle on the site of the March Massacre. The March Massacre? The March Massacre? Yes. 64 people died that day. Gunned down like sitting ducks. If you want to know more, you should go and see for yourself. Why can't he? Why can't he? No one can leave the building while school is in session. Children shouldn't walk around the bazaar on their own. Hmm. I thought you'd be more worried about them falling into a dark zone. Oh, kids nowadays are too smart to fall into a silly hole. Anyway, could you light a candle for him, young man? You might learn something yourself. Sure, though I was pretty lousy at history. History is boring when someone tells you about it. It starts being fascinating this sounds boring. when you can touch it. Touch it? Yes. Take this candle and go to the monument of the World Art Congress. Or what's left of it. It's close by. Contact me when you get there. You'll see what my lesson was about today. Okay, okay. It's another side quest, huh? All right. But you, man, I'm so thirsty. Villador new case. Let's check that out. Is it a collectible? It's just past eight, March the sixth, twenty twenty-four. And you're listening to Villador News. I'm Clarissa Mortimer. Tragic news from the old Villador this evening. At noon today, skirmishes between civilian populations and the army escalated dramatically when soldiers opened fire on protesters just by the World Art Congress monument on Mill Street. 55 people were killed. 11 are in critical state at the St. Joseph Hospital. At 3.30 this afternoon, General Pratt declared martial law in response to the tragedy. We've received numerous reports from frightened citizens of soldiers going door to door. The military advises citizens to remain calm as they collect privately owned firearms, now banned in the martial law declaration. Riots have begun in immigrant camps across the city, and its border has been locked down. This will no doubt shift power to the military within the Council of Mankind and result in a decline of the GRE's influence. As such actions are often followed by a suppression of the free press, we, here at Villador News, are closely monitoring the situation. With tensions continuing to rise, we will remain on the air late into the night. Okay. It's a newscast. All right, all right. So where do I go? There's one over here. Right. Oh, right here. Let's go down here. Hans? Hans, you there? Oh, let's lockpick it, boys. We're skilled at that. Oh, there we go, there we go. Easy. Hans? Hello? Anybody home? Oh no, he's sick. What the hell? Oh, she's sick. Stop! Don't drink that water! <coughs> water? This isn't water. <coughs> oh, that moron must have taken the wrong bottle again. Forget his own head if it weren't stuck on his shoulders. Hey, what did you mean by the wrong bottle? He always takes a little rocket fuel with him when he goes hunting. But the booze is right here. That means he's got water. Where is he? <gasps> and what business is that of yours? The water he got from Julian. It might be contaminated. 
He's hunting at this, uh, the military tower, a, a few hundred meters west of here. Oh. Unless he's at the courts. I'll go to the tower. You check the courts, fast. Wait, wait. Take the booze with you in case he's already drunk some of the water. <laughs> I bet what's in this bottle will kill whatever's in that one. Okay, I don't know if I should accept that one. Okay. Uh, let's get the hell out of here. Where do I go? I call this a waste of time. If I go here, if I go there. You're serious? He sure ain't in the right place. Suck it! I don't have time for you. All right, let's go here. Maybe go here. Ah! I don't got time for you. Somebody needs help. Hey, you need help? Buddy? Hey, little guy. Where are your parents? I'm not little. Okay, sure. What are you doing here alone? I'm on an important mission. Oh, a mission, huh? All right, what kind of mission? Sacred mission, of course. Super secret. And I ain't telling you. Would you tell me if I offered to help? I don't need any help. But if you gotta know, I'm fetching food for my parents. Oh. I do it all the time. No biggie. Seems dangerous. Couldn't your parents at least come with you? Nope. Like I said, no biggie. I can handle it. I can handle anything. Hey, listen. You're incredibly brave. But I'd really like to help. I suppose I could bring you on board. Heck, I could even pay you. How's that? I don't need your money. kids are hiring me. Why not? <laughs> What are your orders, sir? There's a shop on West Horizon Lane, just before you hit the chemical zone. I was loading backpacks with food when those nasties showed up and chased me out. Bring me those backpacks, and I'll give you a super weapon. My dad's weapon. So, the mission's to get food for your parents. Yeah, that's right. And you can deliver it to our home. We live on the edge of the chemical zone. Only place where my parents are safe. Hmm. It'd be best to get the backpacks at night, when the infected aren't around. Sure, if you say so. I don't know. But you'll do it, right? I can't promise anything. But we'll see. Ah, oh, okay. We'll see you soon, hopefully. Jeez. Responsible parents, aren't we? Alright, we're not gonna do that one. We... Inhibitor container detected. Jeez. I want to, uh, let's just check what out. Yeah, right here. Let's go this one right here. Ooh -wee. Let's get here. Hopefully it's not night time. Hans? 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 Oh, there he is. Let's try it again, let's try it again! Okay, 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 there we go. Hey, hey, buddy, 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 don't Hans. drink the water. Are you Hans? What do you want? Did you drink any of that water? Goddamn right I did. Tasted like piss. Uh oh. Um, give him the booze. It's your booze. Take it. Your wife said chug. Drink it already! Bullshit. What? <laughs> My wife said that? My Anna? She thinks the alcohol's strong enough to burn the poison out of your system. Ha! Huh. 
My woman. <laughs> so she loves me after all, despite her bitching and moaning. And they say romance is dead. Here, for making my day. And maybe saving my life. <sighs> Look, you need any help getting back? Nah, I'm good. Me and this bottle of booze still got some work to do. Uh, I hope it's not poison, though. What if the wife just tries to kill him? Let's reverse Uno right there. Let's take his stuff. All right, now let's go back. Okay, I want to see this area. Oh, I've never been here. All right, let's go. Find out. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. There's Marco. Took me a while. Great. Another water thief. Just what I need. Between thieves and infected, I'll be out of business soon. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You came to rob me, didn't you? I'm here because a guy named Julian claims you sold him poisoned water. I didn't poison anything. All right? Uh, Julian claims otherwise. Sure. Listen to the guy who sold me flour mixed with plaster. If you're not the thief, how are you with infected? I need to get rid of those things that are down there. If not, I'm done here. Poison water or not. Okay, I'll get rid of the infected, and you tell me what happened. Deal? Sure. Deal. Alright. I thought we took care of them, though. Oh, I thought... Okay, let's... Let's do it again. Oh god, oh god! Ah! 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 Am I, am I, am I? Oh, they're stuck! Ooh, get the hell out of here! Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Okay, they're all dead. Yeah. Uh, that was a close one. Okay, I think they're all good. They're all good. Right? Ah! <laughs> Jeez Louise. Alright. Maybe I can open this. <clears throat> uh oh. Uh oh. He's gonna wake up, isn't he? Make way, kid. All right, okay, you're safe. Now, what's the story with the water? Wait. Do you need help? So you really are one of those fucked up pilgrims. Wait, fucked up? Now we're safe. Gotta be a fucking criminal. Or pretty damn fucked up to drag your ass hundreds of miles through a world full of virals. Fucked up in a good way, of course. So, what about the water? There ain't nothing wrong with my water. A man at the bazaar was poisoned. And you'll be blamed if he dies. <sighs> damn it. Okay. It was an accident. Okay? An accident. It's because of these goddamn thieves. Thieves? They're always stealing my water. I can't take it anymore. So, I decided to set the trap. So, you deliberately poison the water to kill the bandits? Uh, not quite. 
At least, uh, I didn't mean to. Uh, a while ago, I killed this viral that came crawling in here. And the fucker fell straight into a tub. The whole tub fucking ruined. But then I got this idea. Why don't I teach these bastards a lesson? So I filled some bottles with the zombie water, sent them out where they'd be easy to see. They were never supposed to make it into the bazaar. Guess I was sauced up and accidentally sold a few bottles to Julian. Look, I'll give you all the flour I got. I'll even throw something extra. Just don't tell anybody. I'd be ruined. But what about Julian? They'll blame Julian and he'll hang. Don't you worry about Julian. A weasel like him will find a way to weasel out of it. And if not, then that's one weasel less in the world. So, we got a deal? I don't know. I'm gonna tell them the truth. Just be honest and tell your story to the bazaar. It was an accident. You nuts! No one would buy even a drop of water for me ever again! Uh-oh. I won't let Julian hang for something he didn't do. Fuck Julian! I got my own skin to save. So that's a story you ain't oh. going to tell. Gotcha. Well, well, well. Hold still. Ooh, I got you now. Oh no, Marco. Oh. You're done. Oh. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Ooh. I didn't heal. Let's try this again. I am mad. Let's go. I got something for you. Oh, do you? I got something too, buddy. You can't touch this. Yes, I can. Ooh. Can you take it? Yes, I can. Let's go. Try this, asshole. Oh, what just happened? He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Look alive. I am alive. I just cut off his head. Such his dead body. Is that it? I think that's it. I need to search the place. Let's open up. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. Uh, I don't come. I didn't meet this him first. Bio marker. Carl said if you show up to bring your round, so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. <laughs> Humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. 
Right, 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 right. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. <laughs> Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. <laughs> but if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? Uh... You want me to hear for gossip? Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. Oh. What are you, then? I don't like metaphors. I'm not really a fan of this metaphor. Oh, yes. I see. Pilgrims are not people of metaphors or poetry. They prefer to act. Yeah, about acting. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? Wait a minute. And why, pray tell? Uh... Uh... It's my own business? That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. And we are many. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. Okay. Strong, but uh, very silent type. All right, let's go and talk to. No, 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 no. We need to finish our. This one right here. Our side quest. There we go. Talk to Marco. Yeah, you. Looking for work by any chance? Found some powdered milk. There we go. Uh, what's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please tell them it wasn't me. Uh, the ones from the supplier was Julian tainted. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bizarre Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I killed him. Then my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flour is yours. Yeah, the flour mixed with plaster. Huh? Uh, no. uh. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... I keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bibbin what happened. All right. We're done. With that side quest, yeah, boy. All right, on that, guys, I'm gonna call a video. Thank you for coming along. If you love what I do, you know what to do. And so, I'll see you next time.